broken. I'm done with this. This one, garbage. Don't buy this. Yo everybody, this is Rob with the Great, aka The Toy Bookie, coming to you with another toy review. Now in today's toy review, if you follow my videos, I do toy hunting videos, and I was lucky enough to find the new Star Wars Black Series Wave, and we are going to be doing a Wave unboxing, so stay tuned, we're going to head over to the toy review station, and we are going to be doing a full toy review of all of the figures. Before we get there, if you could leave a comment down below while we're doing it, we do a thing on this channel called Live Commenting, where you leave comments live because it helps the YouTube algorithm and then after the video I try to get in there and I could comment back with you guys so before we get to the video make sure to just leave a bunch of comments it helps the YouTube algorithm you help the channel out and without talking for any further because you're here to look at toys not to look at this Fache brute okay let's go all right so here we are and we are up in the review station and we are gonna be taking a look at the new Star Wars Black Series figures. We're gonna look at the box because it is a new box. We are gonna take some time looking at the box. And then we, I thought it would be fun to compare them to their older counterparts or similar. We have a, a Bandai model kit here and we have the old Star Wars Black Series body here. And so we are gonna be opening these guys up. We're gonna do a full review. Let me get this out of here now and we can start taking a look at the boxes. Oh, we're breaking my import figures. Now this wave has a Darth Vader figure, which is good if you missed out on Darth Vader in the past. I have enough Darth Vader, so I let him sit on the shelf. It has a Snow Speeder Luke. I let that one, it, I think two come in a box. So two Snow Speeder Lukes and then Akbar, and then the Mandalorian is in that wave. Now, when I got there, I saw every figure but the Mandalorian, so I thought I found the whole wave and I forgot that the Mandalorian was in this wave, so I did miss out on the Mandalorian, but if you follow my toy hunting videos, definitely check out my toy hunting videos if you don't know. This channel is seems to be mainly a toy hunting channel now. You definitely want to check those out. They're a lot of fun. So on my toy hunting videos, maybe in the future we will hopefully find one. So when I saw these, I haven't really been into Star Wars figures. Uh, I'm a big Star Wars fan, but The Last Jedi and then the last few Star Wars movies from Disney just really like made me not feel like buying figures anymore. But when you see the old stuff, when you just see this classic stuff, especially these really cool boxes, I mean I know these are from Rogue One, but they are still the Stormtrooper that we all love, Clone Trooper. These are really cool, man. These boxes are just so nice. I always just do reviews on this channel of stuff that I like, stuff that I'm passionate about. So when I see something I like, I'm gonna do a review on it. These figures, man, I just, I'm really liking this. Look, from every angle, it's just such a welcomed change from that old red and black box. Now, I remember when that red and black box came out, everyone was really digging it because they were sick of the black and orange or the black and blue boxes. So I think it's just everything with time. You just get sick of stuff and whatever. All right, now first off, I just have to say, I really like Ewoks. I know a lot of people don't like Ewoks. I understand why they don't, but I always liked Ewoks. And I used to think that this was a good scale Ewok. This is from the old Hasbro line. But now once seeing like an in-scale Ewok, that was way off, man. Yeah, I'm very happy with these. I am gonna collect any Ewok they put out. This is <laughs> so cool, man. Um, there's also a lot of accessories with them, and they don't look like they're accessories. Let me get rid of that garbage. Get out of here. All right, now this guy looks like he doesn't have a lot of accessories, but he kind of does. So he has a necklace, he has a bandolier, or like a, you know, like just wrappings around his body, and he has this hat. He does have this, uh, whatever that is. I can't even speak right now. What's going on, Rocco? What are you doing? He's, his head has a double ball joint, and I'm sure this could come off this hat that he has on, and I don't want to like ruin him, but I am doing a toy review. Now he does have the face printing tech, and the eyes are as cold and soulless as ever. Very creepy, very cool. I'm gonna army build some Ewoks, man. Ewok village, here we come. The hat has a lot of details, a lot of design on there. Is that Yak Face's head? Let's look at the accessories he comes with. So he has a spear with some uh, fur on it. Not that detailed, but detailed color-wise, but not like Wash this you could give this a good wash. He comes with this tiny little Rock knife thing again. They, these look very bogus. They don't look like black series quality And then this they, they these definitely need a wash They could have just a tiny little black wash or brown wash would have made these look a much better All right, so right out of the box something looks weird with his head now. I know people found this out online You could take his mask off. There is an actual clone trooper head under there but I've been trying to fiddle around with this and it seems like they put his head on sideways so his head is all miscombobulated and misshaped. 
he, it looks so weird. It's like warped because underneath his head is put on the wrong way. So after this review, I'm gonna go try to heat it up and pop it off. But before we get there, I'll, I'll show that online what, he, what it's supposed to look like underneath. Let's go over the articulation. So he's got good range of motion. They made this soft rubber, the top shoulder pads, so he can go up. He's got a cool logo on the shoulder pads right there. Uh, double jointed elbows. So the elbows have like a soft rubber elbow pad, kind of like wrestling figures. Oh, mine got stuck. Wow, this figure is, oh, it's gonna rip. Wait a sec, all right, so this figure's all wonky, man. I, I don't know about this one so far. So quality control on this figure seems to not be good so far. These shoulder pads, uh, the elbow pads look like they're gonna rip at any moment. It actually, there's a tear in it. So that's not good. Like when I actually try to use them, there's a tear in that. I don't know how I feel about that. Especially these things being brand new and my first time trying to use that elbow pad. It does have it in it. There's a bicep swivel. I'm really afraid that the rubber is going to rip though, so I'm not going to force that anymore. What's with Star Wars using really weak pegs? I feel like every every peg is going to break on these figures now. They're, they might be using a different plastic. The Luke, the Luke with the Yoda 2-pack that I did a review on the channel, his uh, wrist joints were very weak feeling. And I had people in the comments saying they actually broke theirs. Now, I didn't even try to do that stand because I'm not trying to break that loop. So far, I'm not liking this figure. Hopefully the Stormtrooper turns me around, but the Ewok I like, I am not liking this figure so far, just from all the quality control, like the helmet, the wrist pads, the elbow pads, and the um, wrist joints so far. Torso joint, pretty decent range of motion. Can he do splits? Can't do splits, but you don't really, I mean, I guess you, you'd want a trooper to do some splits, right? In case I gotta do a dance competition. Oh, the knee pads do the same thing, it seems like. Double jointed knees, all right, that's cool. Not really good range of motion. It kind of looks like it would just be a normal, you know, 90 degrees. And then ankle pivot. Again, that helmet, there's really no excuse for that. That's very weird. I'm gonna go try to heat it up. But before we get there, he's got the big, long blaster. I don't know the names of these, even though I play Battlefront 2 all the time, and I should know the names of these. And then he's got the little blaster. So nothing crazy, but I'm gonna go try to get this helmet off. I'll be right back. So I was just trying to get it off for a little while. You're gonna have to really pry this thing off. It does come off. I can confirm that. There is a face that you could paint underneath, but this one's defective. This thing's broken. I'm done with this. This one, garbage. Don't buy this one. But last but not least, we have the Stormtrooper. Now this is from Rogue One. At least that's what it's marketed as. Now this is weird right off the bat. Now we have single jointed knees. The original had double jointed knees. The original mold. So that's interesting that they would get rid of articulation while improving articulation elsewhere. So I'm not really sure about that. I mean, I would have liked to keep the double jointed knees. These are troopers, you wanna get them in some dynamic poses. Uh, but for people who don't do toy photography, then you won't even understand what I'm even talking about. I always hear people complaining about, you don't need articulation, you don't need, ooh, it's so ugly. There's some people who do toy photography and that's where you take photos or photography of your toys and it's really fun. It's big on Facebook, it's big big on Instagram. I like doing it myself personally. It's it's a fun project thing. And I, you know, I do dioramas. If you're a subscriber to this channel, you should know I do some dioramas for toy photography. But um, a lot of people complain about it, you know? And uh, like Todd McFarlane, he doesn't like articulation. He says it in every interview. But um, people like articulation, so the more the better for a lot of us. And the fact that they had really good, like, articulation on the old one and then the new one it only goes a little bit like you know what i'm saying that's interesting that's all i'm gonna say but we do have really nice elbow articulation um on this one oh we had double jointed elbows but yes that was it it just was um the way the armor was it, it would be hindered so it really didn't matter that we had double jointed elbows on the older buck i forgot about that there the face plate the chest plate is a little bit uh flatter like it almost looks like luke has bubs and this one is just flat um are they the same well this is the luke i believe this is shorter because the original stormtrooper is supposed to be a little bit taller as like you know the whole line in the movie and everything aren't you a little short to be a stormtrooper so then we have the Bandai model kit right here. Now this is a cool one. And then I just thought for fun, here's Luke, Bespin Luke. Now they got the heights there pretty good. This is the old release. Now they, they have a better Bespin Luke now. I would have to say uh, this this mold is just not fun. This is the original uh, Stormtrooper mold. It's just not fun to pose and stuff. So I'm gonna put that down there. This, I'm, I still might think the model kit is the best 
option in my opinion. These are pretty, this is okay, but nothing beats the traditional Stormtroopers. Now, I didn't even know in Rogue One they didn't even have the, the gun holster. It seems like. Is this single jointed? Yeah, I guess it's single jointed elbows. I believed it was double jointed elbows. I saw some people making a big stink about this. Now, even it's soft rubber up here, but you can't really get that good of a range of motion. Man, I've not been happy with any of the Stormtrooper, uh, any of the Star Wars stuff I've been opening, I have to say. The head popped off pretty easy. And now, you could also pop this head out of there, but I'm not trying to heat up this plastic and get it out, but you can get these heads out and there is a face sculpt underneath this helmet. His, that head popped off pretty easy. Man, I don't know, man. I, you know what? It's a little bit easier to pose than the, the other one, but it's not blowing me away, and I thought this was gonna blow me away from all the hype that I saw. Oh, and now I just realized, look, his plate is on crooked. There's a lot of quality control issues with these Hasbro figures so far. Everyone, I've had a quality control issue. Look, it looks like his chest is on crooked. You see that? There's the black showing right here and it's warped and it's over here. So that's weird, man. Yeah, a lot of defects with these toys. Uh, I'm not, you know what? I think they're all trash. Don't buy any of them. Honestly, that's my opinion. Um, sorry Hasbro if you see this, but you know, if I don't call it out, nobody else will, or not many will, at least on YouTube. Cause everyone's, you know, they'll, they, but to keep it positive, they are cool new figures. I do like the box, and I do think I like the Ewoks, so I will be collecting the Ewoks. <laughs> and I hope this doesn't come off as super negative. I just think, um, you know, I, g I give my honest feedback, so no one get too offended over this. We're just having fun on the channel. This was Rock with Great AK, the Toy Boogie. Honestly, would I recommend any of these? Not really. Uh, the Ewok is pretty cool, but the other figures, if you have older stuff, like the, I would recommend the Bandai model kit. I love this thing. I guess if, if you want some cheap stormtroopers to army build, you go buy these new ones. So that's it, guys. I'm out of here. This was Rock with Great, aka the Toy Bookie. I gotta go make an iced coffee. And so we got, oh, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to hit that notification bell because I, I am going live more. I take my live streams down after I go live because it hurts the YouTube algorithm. So I do go live. If everybody, like, you know, you want to come hang out, our live streams are pretty fun. So, that's it, guys. I did enough talking. I'm out of here. Stay great. Peace. Make sure to go check out some other videos. Go check them out. And you might like what you see. They're not all toy... I swear, their other ones are... Okay, bye.